Hi everybody, it's Andrea aka Violet Kitty 411 and welcome back to the Kitty Verse. We are here with Ms. Lo Rose and Lily Kitty, the daughters of Violet and Jacob Volkov Kitty. If you are new to this channel, the Kitty family has been my tutorial family since The Sims 1 and they get in various different adventures. So this is not really a tutorial as much as it's a let's play, but let's have some fun. Okay, real quick recap. If you were you've been watching Rose just graduated from college with a distinguished degree with honors in drama from Brightchester. And Lily, who is technically older than Rose, but younger because I don't play with world aging on in this save, is a teenager. She is actually still a werewolf. Their parents, Jacob and Violet, are Moonwood Mills werewolf power couple. Okay, so anyway, let's get on with it. We've got things to accomplish. We have decided, or I should say by we, I mean I have decided that Lily is going to take on the next level of this Let's Play because Lily has always been the much more family-oriented sim in the in my plays, and Rose has always been much more of a party girl. So she was appropriate for high school and university and even for uh, Get Famous but she's not appropriate for growing together. So we are going to finish up, get Miss Lily ready to go so she's ready to have a family. Now, because of graduating with honors, Rose is actually already at level eight in the actress career, but she doesn't have any fame, so I'm gonna have to do all sorts of things to gain fame in order to boost. Now, her first gig is for making music, and she needs some guitar skills, so we're going to run our run a Gotta Stream Em All while learning the guitar. Play guitar. So everything she does has to be gaining fame because we need fame. We're going to be completing the actress as well as the famous celebrity while we do this. And so, yeah, that's what we're doing. And over here... She, Miss Lily is actually studying. She's a great student. She's got to finish up her scouting. And next, she's going to go on a run around the neighborhood. Now, this is the cheaper neighborhood in Del Sol Valley, but I have built every house in this neighborhood, and they all look very nice. And there's a feller living in this one right here that was designed just for her so there's that so we've got to get her fitness we've got to get basically her top of scouting just like rose was because scouting hitting all four kid aspirations hitting the highest top-notch toddler aspiration carries through the rest of their life and it's amazing i have no idea what she's done to have 148 thousand followers but she has them because this is the first time I've ever actually yes you do like fitness the first time I've ever actually tried to get followers for her so like yay 200,000 we're not and she's now at guitar level seven she literally just picked up a guitar for the first time today yeah acquired the guitar skill just now so you've watched this she is gonna be max on our guitar skill in the morning also because lily is full werewolf i mean rose is a dormant werewolf but lily is a full werewolf we are very concerned about that emotional control we are also going to see if we can get her cured i mean i'm not against her g growing together as a werewolf that might be interesting but we're going to see if we can get her the cure other i may or may not cheat the werewolf trade away we'll see Life is a lot different in Del Sol Valley than in Moonwood Mills. There's actual pavement around here. So, yeah, Lily's kind of taking in an entirely different world. Hi, Elsa. So both of them actually got wardrobes that are more suited for living in Southern California or Hollywood or whatever. You got this. Just rally the troops. Get it done. Now, you might recall that Rose actually died before she graduated from high school. We did bring her back with the wishing well, so she can never die except by old age. But 
I still don't like her getting hilarious, but when she does, when she does get playful, she gets ghostly laughter. <laughs> and it is actually Winterfest, so we will be fulfilling some wishes for them, particularly uh, just to get things done. And we're working on those badges, getting Lily figured out. Now this house is actually one that I made for Not So Berry Pink Generation. It was originally in uh, Forgotten Hollow or Forbidden Hollow, the Vampires Pack neighborhood. Uh, so, yep, we've got decorations. Over here was the house I made for the Green Generation, and it was actually on this lot. And over here is the house that I made for the Blue Generation. And it is actually on the lot of the collective in Moonwood Mills. Now, that was that's not in this save, but actually that same lot has this house because I like it so much and it fits. So some very nice houses in this neighborhood. They're all technically hacked tiny homes. Now, being the good older slash younger sister that she is, Rose is helping Lily because we want Lily to succeed. Like I said, we created a fella living across the street for Lily named Kent White because she will be Lily White because that's how I roll. Now we're going to send Lily to school. I actually have not adjusted the holidays in this save and maybe I should do that, but this is Winterfest. We'll send Lily to school. And then we'll actually figure out the holidays for the springtime. Because, yeah, I think I will adjust the holidays. And Rose's graduation ceremony starts soon. I am going to go simply because she missed her high school graduation. You know, that whole deadness issue. And she just reached level 9. That's amazing considering she just picked it up for the first time right around midnight. She's amazing. Great job. Okay, so we got an achievement of uh, visiting 25 different lots. Of course, every achievement is per save, so yeah. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and attend graduation. Make friends with people. Oh, you already knew her. Okay. Oh, and there is actually our girlfriend that we made in Brightchester. You know what? Let's just be friends. Can we just be friends? I just want to be friends. We'll see about just being friends. Because, you know, hey, this was just for, this was just some experimentation. It is funny. She still has the ability to remove or remove banners, put up banners, even though she's technically graduated. And there goes the throwing of the caps. Okay, yay, that's graduation. All right, not as exciting as the high school graduation, not going to lie. But we did it. Back home because she has an audition this afternoon. And now let's just make sure that, what's her name over here, realizes, yeah, this was just experimentation. Um, thanks. Thanks. We're still maybe holding out for Jeb. We don't know. Okay, thanks. Bye. And today actually is Rose's birthday, so I am going to have her take a potion of youth. Um, if you kind of figure that young adult starts at age 18 and adult ends at 65, and it takes the majority of young adulthood to finish college, if you're going the fastest you could possibly go, which is three weeks, then it takes like 18 to 23 years to finish university in sim time. So yeah, she's taking a potion of youth. And we did bring Jeb home with us, so very uncomfortable. But we're going to see if we can fix this relationship. He's just kind of on the back burner. He was her first love. Because she has so many points, we're just going to go ahead and we bought the Beguile. We're going to see if we can get this done. We're going to keep him around. Just kind of, 
out there. He's actually kind of sad. He's depressed. He needs a girlfriend. And she just kept, she just kept getting angry at him and he did nothing. We were kind of angry with her over that. She's got a kiss under the mistletoe, especially for, I mean, they always have try a mistletoe kiss, but there we go. Getting less irritated with each other. It's great. And it's all her. It's not him. It's her. Okay, and Lily's returned. Great job, Lily. Uh, and plus, Rose has a an audition at 7, so we got to make sure that she's up to speed for that. Greta, what have you got to say? Hey, you want to graduate? Mm, no. I'm going to see if I can get her to be the valedictorian. Like I said, everything Rose needs to do is all about gaining fame so she streams things she does she's doing painting because that actually increases her fame selling them anyway and oh she might be not having so much fun let's get that taken care of now lily's out in the cul-de-sac just studying for her exam like a good student that she is she's just amazing our audition is in just two hours we got to get that locked in Someone asked if they should date Wolfgang Wilder. Why not? He's a friend of ours. We know he's a quality guy, even though he is a werewolf. So it's okay. And check this out. Other than streaming, have done nothing. And she's got something like 541,000 followers. Great for fame. Those emotion controlling runs are all important for a young werewolf. And we're going to see, if, like I said, we're going to see if we can get her cured. Oh, there's her brother, David. Hi, David. And she lost her audition. I specifically exited out of everything she was doing so she didn't lose her audition. She lost her audition. I don't know where that went. That was not cool. This is actually the third time that I have actually played this, and she's lost her audition. I'm going to count it as a wash, and hopefully she'll get her next audition. Come on, Pinky, let's go sell some paintings. And hopefully this will be her two-star celebrity. She's sitting on it real close. Everything she does has to be about building up her fame. There we go. And now we got to purchase a fame perk. Yep. I don't know what happened to her audition, but we'll just get another one. Also, they have a lot less money because Rose actually donated the money to her parents so they could upgrade the house at the collective. Let's pick up another gig. Hopefully the making music will be available again because we already prepared for it. And it's not. How about which one? We don't really care about the how much it pays, so we're just going to go with doesn't matter. Let's go with any of them because we have the skills. We've got fitness. We've got handiness. We're good. All right. And let's check. His, so it says handiness level two. And I'm pretty sure she has got full handiness because I made her upgrade everything when she was in high school. And yep, sure enough, she's fine. And Clement Frost has come. Yay. Let's give Clement a hug. All right. Can I have? Oh, he's tense. He's tense. We should see what we can do about that. You know. You know what? Let's become best friends. I bet. I bet Clement would like to be my best friend. Look at this. Six hundred sixty-five thousand people are watching me become best friends with Santa Claus. Yay! Maybe that'll ease his tension and now ask him for a present because he needs to know that we value him, not just the presents. Okay. Yay. And I have Lily making a grand meal because she's never cooked before. She got her outdoor adventure doing things like fishing. So, yeah. We've got to get her some cooking skills. And he gave her 
uh, Crisponics Ultra Great with Deluxe Crisper. Yay, we'll sell it. <laughs> Lily's over here doing her own thing, making the Christmas dinner. She's like, I got this. I've never cooked before in my life. I know how to make the best meal people will ever have. And she's just singing to him. That's so great. That's just great. I love that. And there is the Christmas dinner. Put it down, Lily. Put it someplace. Put it someplace where we can all grab it. On the coffee table. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and call everyone. Oops, hold it. There we go. Call to Grand Meal. Maybe, maybe Santa will join us. Come and get it! And she's eating like the animal that she is. <laughs> she's got terrible manners. I mean, well, Lily. Rose isn't much better, but Lily's go And Lily apparently has fleas. It's okay. We got fleas. So Lily really wants to open presents. Okay. All right. Let's open presents. Okay, Lily, what are you getting? Open it with Clement. Sadness and lies. <laughs> okay, that's pretty sad. That That's pretty pathetic. All right. And why don't you ask him for a present? Okay, maybe not. He's, oh, Rose got a train set and cargo car. Oh, there we go. Maybe he is giving her a present. I don't know. Maybe he's not. That's okay. Lily's had a good Christmas. And Rose has had a good Christmas. Awesome! And at the last minute, Santa pulled it out. There we go. And we got another refrigerator from Clement. So, yeah, two refrigerators to sell. Great! So Rose actually has six fame points that she can use, even though she's only a two-star celebrity because she actually had more fame earlier. We are going to go with noticeable because it helps gain skills or fame celebusurum. Okay. Um, let's see. Do we want networking because that's the one that leads towards instant besties and squad, or do we want corporate partnership which gets life let's go with corporate partnership it seems to me that's what rose would do so we're going to do these two tracks that that's what we're doing yep and she does have a pristine reputation despite really breaking some hearts <laughs> congratulations we reached that milestone now we've got to become a three-star celebrity visit a hot spot host a meet and greet Rose had the bright idea to moon gaze with Santa, but that didn't last too long. She's like, I'd like to tell you about the moon. I'd like to tell you about the moon. The moon controls me. And our tree has not borne fruit in quite a while, so hopefully it will bear fruit. Otherwise, I'm going to buy a new one. And it's a watch a premiere day, which is fine. We can do that. Get that out of the way. Got your homework done. Did you do extra credit? I know you studied for your test. Good job. We have a full day before we can audition again, so let's go ahead and visit a celebrity hotspot and host a meet and greet at that celebrity hotspot. Two birds, one stone, that's the way we roll. When answering a question you Lily used forbidden words, it really shocked the teacher. I'll oh, just punish her. That's fine. Manners increase, emotional de control decreases. That's not fine. And I can't be the only one who thinks that the organization of this game is kind of like, why do we not have these in alphabetical order? Why are our friendships not in relationship order or better order? Like, I don't know, Sims 2, maybe even Sims 1? Just saying. So here we are at Orca to Gogo. -Go. It doesn't say that I have to actually do a good job on the meet and greet. I just have to host one and visit a celebrity hotspot. 
and here is Thorn Bailey looking awesome and comfortable in his slippers. So let's go ahead and start socializing. Okay, so we're going to start introducing ourselves to random people. I also invited all of my family members that I don't normally see. Kira Dada, who I believe was actually part of my group in university. I didn't actually take the time to get to know them. So there's that. And if I wanted her to become a spellcaster in addition to a wolf or a mer wolf or a mermaid, this would be my opportunity right here. Tomax is currently tendon bar. Okay, Tomax, you do you. Okay, and we have some fans here. We'll make sure that we do this. All right. Give me a drink here, Tomax. I did ask for my favorite drink. I'm not sure what it is. Kind of like to know. And for the record, with Not So Berry, Rose Generation should technically be con called the Red Generation because Rose is actually synonymous with pink in a lot of languages. And there's actually a pink generation. A lot of European languages, I should say. <laughs> and what are we drinking? What's your favorite? Juice on the rocks! Okay. And she's just going crazy, but yeah, she's she's good. We can't she can't die. Okay. Or can she die? She's not supposed to be able to die. What is this? What is this? She's not supposed to be able to die. She is supposed to be impervious to death. Okay, let me show you. She has a specific trait that says she's impervious to death. Dormant wolf emotional control. Where is it? I don't know where it is, but she's supposed to be impervious to death and why is she dying? I am confused. I was told that she's impervious to death, particularly by laughter, since that's how she died in the first place. And I just added Violet to the family to see if Violet can plead for her. Okay. Plead for Rose, not wail about Rose's demise. Which one would be better? I'll find out. You have to quit crying, Violet. You have to quit crying. This is the second time you have witnessed this daughter dying. Plead for Rose. Please plead for Rose. You're, you're failing. This is... Okay, plead, plead, plead. I need you to plead. You missed the plead opportunity. Oh my gosh. And she's not supposed to be able to die. I ignored her hilarity because she's not supposed to be able to die. Death by laughter. What is this? Okay. Okay, well, we had a meet and greet. Okay. We'll fix this. We will fix this. We fixed it before. We can fix it again. This is great. Just great. And now we're going to bring Lily here. And we're going to have her put Rose in the in her inventory and take her home. This is awesome. Now we're going to make nice with her. Let's see. Ask her about her day. It was probably not so great. Okay, she's fine now. All right. It's almost Lily's birthday. Yes, we know. Okay. And now... I should have asked to join household. Come on. I know I have asked to join household. 
she's happy. All right, full stop. Lily can't ask Rose to join the household because Lily is a teenager. Can't make that decision for the household, even though she's the only one in it. And I forced overwhelmingly positive outcomes, which restore life to our Rose. It is the easiest way to resurrect a ghost. You can do it without cheating, but I didn't feel like playing it with cheating. I've done it without cheating. I did that on my 100 baby challenge. I just didn't feel like it. So what I was referring to before was this right here. Two arms, check. Two legs, check. Can't walk through walls, check. Not only has Rose returned from the living to the living, but she's formed a pact with the Reaper, granting instant resurrection in any case of unexpected death. Rose can sleep soundly knowing she'll live out a long, full life, passing away at a ripe old age. Had that before. I shouldn't have been able to die. Just saying, she shouldn't have been able to die. She should have been impervious to death. So, yeah. Pretty upset about that. So now I get her, get her back into the career. <laughs> Lily has just a couple days left. I think I'm actually going to age her back because I got things to do. All right, let's get back into the actress career. We will select our same agency, the well suited talent agency. We will find a job. Hopefully, it'll be the same one, but. That's fine, whatever. Making music. No, we, we, yeah, why don't we do that? <laughs> this is not turning out so well, not going to lie. Okay, so we've got some paintings to sell. Started our little drone that we named Pinky. Then we will be playing some more guitar because we may as well. Oh! You know what? She's got to join the club. Let's see. It should be called Road to Fame. There we go. Join it. And Lily now owns it. Okay. So we'll get that done. She's actually had a decent day. It hasn't been terrible. Uh, yeah, let's sell that masterpiece. In the scheme of things, death is relatively immaterial okay so <laughs> hey I heard that you became friends with Tomax Colette he's pretty cool well yeah because he's supernatural like you are mom anyway I will see you soon in the pixelated world and that's all I have to say VK out